Uh, hi, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, it's Jake Tamper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Jake. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Jake Tamper from CNN. Yes. Okay. Yes. Host of the lead with Jake Tamper. <laughs> <laughs> we know. How can I help you, Jake? Well, since I am an established media fixture... I assume you would want some advice and guidance from someone of my stature. Uh, absolutely not. Not in a million years. <laughs> see? All you had to do was ask. <laughs> I see that you are going on tour across the country soon. Yes, we're going to be in Tempe, Arizona this Sunday. We're going to be in uh, Austin, Texas, May 18th and 19th. We'll be in Hermosa Beach, June 5th. Lots of places. And you perform live in front of crowds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me, Steph, Ron Graham, we talk about the news and we do some funny jokey jokes about it. Not advisable. <laughs> Why not? Why is it not advisable? Jimmy, as a media figure, you have to resist the temptation to interact with regular people. Availing yourself to the masses may seem like a good idea on the surface of it, but more often than not, it will lead to disaster. People are unpredictable, and one thing a shiny TV person cannot risk is unpredictability. <laughs> well, first of all, Jake, I'm not a shiny TV person. Uh, I'm a journalist and a comedian, and I'm not, I'm not tr even trying to be shiny. Uh, and I'm performing live in front of audiences like I have been doing for 30 years, Jake. That's why people like my show. No, see, here's where you're wrong. Your legitimacy in people's eyes comes from your aloofness, your untouchability, your almost godlike image on the screen. If people knew that they could come right up to you and shake your hand, why would they trust you or respect what you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jake, I think that's uh, ex that's the exact reason why people do trust me. They know I'm a normal person like them who's just a jag-off comedian who happens to be paying attention. Doing live shows and interacting with people is just part of what I do. Okay, see, this is exactly why you need my tutelage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Jake, please straighten me out. I will. The fact that I exist only in a magical box allows me to ask the tough questions. The tough questions you only hear on CNN. <laughs> oh, really, Jake? What tough questions are you asking? Well, for example, a few weeks ago, I had Amy Klobuchar on, mm -hmm. the oddly alluring senator who is running for president. <laughs> and I slammed her, slammed her, Jimmy, with a tough question. To wit... Doesn't Donald Trump deserve credit for the recent economic recovery? And boy, she she really, you could tell, felt walloped. Boom, tough question. <laughs> really? That's your idea of a tough question? Now, hold on, Jimmy. I said tough question, not good question. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> a good question is, de is designed to elicit useful information. A tough question is there to throw people off their guard, maybe make them stammer a little bit. And if they're a powerful person, that makes you look like a tough journalist. You know, I see that's very sad that that's what you think you, that your job is. That's sad. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Here at CNN, as far as tough questions go, it's Chris Cuomo's world. We're just living in it. We're all just cucks to his bull. <laughs> <laughs> and in Brian Stelter's case, literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I'm glad I had this opportunity to mentor you in journalism, Jimmy. Stick to my tips, and I have a feeling you'll go far. Well, thanks, Jake. Enjoy shilling for the corporation. Will do. I used to date Monica Lewinsky. Ask me anything. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> Take care, Jake. <laughs> Next live Jimmy Dore show is June 5th. That's a Wednesday at Hermosa Beach Comedy Club in Hermosa Beach, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets where it might be coming to your town.
And if you love the show, please become a patron. Please support the show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And please click that bell to make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are already subscribed, they unsubscribe people every day. Just check. Thanks for your support.